Ooh, what's up guys? Of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, of course, the Scarander. And I'm really sorry it wasn't uploaded uh, yesterday. I might have forgot my keys at at home and my fiance was working late, so uh, I took the time to say oops and uh, went for a beer and uh, took a good meal while waiting for her to end work. So basically I was hanging at the pub with a few friends uh, for three hours. Don't worry though, I only took one beer and the rest, I think it took four non-alcoholic ones because it, was, it is Monday after all and I do work extremely early. So um, yeah, I couldn't really afford to get really drunk. So anyway, we we'll upload today and today we're going up against Sly Rhino in RU. And he was saying before the game that he was somewhat unaccustomed to RU and we actually tried to work a battle off uh, together. So we finally did it on a stream and look to his team here. For being unaccustomed, he's definitely, you know, bringing what I can say is pretty much the standard of RU. You know, a few switch outs there, but definitely like a potent team. Here we've got Jolteon, Ember, Alligator, Cresselia, Weezing, and x which is definitely tough here. And uh, basically, I myself use Ninja, Hypnochan, Rhyperior, Hypno, Type Lotion, and Clawlessa. It's not that potent of an RU team, but the synergy between them are actually quite good. And besides that, I'm gonna expect him to, of course, start off with the Jolteon because it seems really obvious. Uh, it's either that or Suicide Lead Explode. If that's the case, then I kinda dent it. I'm gonna start with Ninjas because it is able to outspeed any Scarfer, potential Scarfer, uh, on his team, so I'm not too worried. And uh, besides that, since his team is such a hard hidden, I need to kinda speed things up because my stamina in my team is much lower than his, so I really need to dent whatever is worth denting fast. So, uh, with all this in my guys, of course, let's go. So, right, at the get-go, he is actually gonna start off with Exploud. I did start off with, like I said, that with Ninjask, and going for a U-turn might working quite well. He is not having many Pokemon that can cannot resist that, so U-turn, you know, as a natural or neutral hitting move is definitely, definitely gonna dent him throughout this battle. So, um, yeah, U-turn. And it does, you know, been on over 50% and at this point I was thinking, alright, uh, Boom Burst, extremely obvious, I'm just gonna go into my Hypno, which I know can at least take one of these hits and uh, hopefully retaliate to be honest. Uh, but that did a, with, you know, a bit on the too much side, so I decided to protect, you know, getting some leftover recovery. And uh, at this time I was thinking, you know, I'm gonna lose my Hypno early on, I really, really don't want that. So, I am actually gonna switch out to my Rhyperior because I think, you know, it is resisted damage. Rhyperior should definitely take this well. Uh, I was so sure of this, and uh, Rhyperior, as you all guys know, is a key play for me in RU. And, uh, damn! Damn! It's an awful move. I should definitely have sacked off Hypno. Look at this! Resisted damage, my ass! That is killing! <laughs> I'm losing my key sweeper very early on here because. There is no way of me getting back from this and really, really, you know, rubbing it in with a crit there to get to it. But, ah, oh, damn. Damn, that hurts. So, anyway, I'm gonna go into Jade and finish it off with a U turn. And, um, yeah, at this time, I was really, really, really worried if I even gonna have an honest chance there because Rhyperior is the one that possesses the most threat to most of his Pokemon besides the Feraligator. And knowing that really, really, really made me a bit on the unnerved side. So anyway, I'm going to Alvesta, and he's gonna go to his Fair Alligator. I was really banking on him going for a Dragon Dance here, thinking that I was gonna switch out. So I went for the Power Herb, Solar Beam, and thank God I did, because this, this is gonna work, this is gonna kill, which is awesome. Thank you, thank you Type Lotion. Had I gone for an Aqua Jet or like that, it might have been very possible for him to take me out. So anyway, he's gonna go to his Smoker. I do pack the eruption and um, yeah, I don't think he expected that and trying to you know dent me in some fashion, but eruption is more than enough to take out the Weezing, so he's gonna go to his Cresselia now and you know, I really really just want to keep going at it, um, eruption does so much damage and gives me a lot of momentum and uh, look at that, it took it pretty darn nicely. And it's gonna go for Thunder Wave, shutting down the Type Lotion here, and um, yeah, Eruption is definitely, you know, out of the question. But I was thinking, you know, he, he might go for an attacking move, I don't know if he's even gonna do half, and he, if so, I can get some more damage on this Cresselia, and then bring out the Ninjas to take it out. Uh, but I will be fully paralyzed here, and that really sucks, it really does. 
And he's gonna go get some more leftovers recovery. But I was thinking, okay, one more time. I should at least, after one more rupture, get it to around half again. And that should be more than enough for a ninja to take it out. Right? No. We are still paralyzed. So, that really sucks. So now I'm in the mood of just following it. Type lotion can't do anything. It really, really, really sucks that uh, it would have to come down like that. And my type lotion is gonna be taken out. He does get a crit here, and it might be actually helping me, because it might be very likely for me to survive another side shock there, and uh, he get more so left of recovery. And look at that, it is almost back on track this time around, and I'm gonna go to Ninjas, hoping that you turn just enough here, but he will actually withdraw, and I do get that. Can't really risk that kind of damage on it, so he's gonna go to Emborg, which of course resists that kind of damage, and I didn't, I, I am no position of overpredict here, I really am not, so I'm just gonna go for U-turn. And uh, then I'm gonna bring the Hypno, because Hypno could at least, while it being Death Father, it can also be that I'm expecting this thing to be Joyce Banded or Scarfed. So if I go for a Protect, I can just scout what kind of damage it's gonna do, and then switch into something that can uh, deal with that. But it's gonna show me the Sucker Punch here, which is a good thing um, at the get go, because that means that I can go for Toxic at least, thinking that he is gonna go for. Sucker Punch yet again, expecting me to at attack him, which is not a bad idea, but I really want to go for Toxic, but I miss. Yes. I miss the Toxic, that is just terrible. And uh, I was thinking, alright, I might go for Toxic one more time, but it's gonna go for Wild Charge and uh, Crit City. You know, it's very likely that that could have taken me out, but that is some bad luck. And it's gonna show me the life for every combination, so I was thinking, alright, we can do this. I'm going to go into my Apollo. I am not speed of Espen, so I was hoping that I won't be able to outspeed him and go for Drain Punch. <sighs> I do outspeed, so I, might, I would have been better off going for Earthquake. Uh, so definitely a misprediction on my part. It will end up taking out though, but um, at the same time, uh, we still have issues because my Hitmachan can't really do anything here. I forgot about his Jolteon on his team, and I got Clawless and Ninjask left, and Hitmonchan can't really take anything from Jolteon anyway. So I'm just gonna fire off the Hitmonchan, like I said, there is really nothing the Hitmonchan can do at that range, and it's just gonna go down. And it's a spinner after all, so <laughs> it was kinda implemented as it was gonna go down eventually. So anyway, I'm gonna go into Ninjask of course, and uh, Jade is gonna do some significant amount of damage yet again. And like I said, at this point, I really, I had forgot about the Jolteon, I thought I might have a good chance of winning. Because my two last Pokemon are weak to electric type moves. Both uh, my flying type Ninjask and Clawlist uh, cannot uh, take that damage from it, and I, like I said, forgot about it, so I was getting pretty stressed out here. And it's gonna go for the Thunder Wave, shutting down the Clawlist, uh, which is better than, of course, the Ninjask, which needs speed. And I knew that he can't really take me out, so I'm just gonna go for a Specs Dark Pulse. Um, it might be able to live it, or it might not, but at the same time here. I just went at it, hoping it would be not fully paralyzed. It's going for Moonlight, almost getting full HP left. I am not fully paralyzed, Dark Pulse will hit, and that is a dead Cresselia. Yeah, that just happened. But like I said guys, his last Pokemon is the Jolteon, and my god, my god, if I only knew how this demise will end, can Ninjask take out this Jolteon, or is it Specs, or is it Scarf, who knew? But. I am luckily here to be able to outspeed, and I designed this Ninjas with one thought in mind that it has to dig. Yes, it has to dig. Which means that I not only will outspeed and evade the move, I will do super effective damage, which actually is more than enough to take it out. So I'm really glad I put a dig on this. I never thought I would have the chance to use it, but it definitely is a good thing to have because it is able to outspeed scarfed type lotions and can actually dent their eruption really early on. And, yeah, wow, it actually, it actually works. So I will win this battle 1-0, as you saw there, I had a lot of things not going my way this battle, and I barely win this one, so Sly Rhino, Sly Rhino, sorry, GG man, that was definitely a fun battle, and a really close one, definitely. So yeah, I really hope you guys of course enjoy this battle, because I sure do, I had a lot of fun, and uh, I was very glad to see Ninjas doing some very, very heavy damage here and a job really. He took out, what was that? I think he took out four of his six Pokemon. That is that is definitely MVP status. And um, Ninjas, like I said, it really worked in wonders. 
it is bound to be the last matchup if Stealth Rox isn't inbound and um, having some like how to put it some super effective damage ish going on is actually kind of important dig might not be that good of a move but if the last matchup is a Pokemon that can do super effective damage to you and are not re or are in the weak to ground then that actually worked and um, I had had this phase out with Ninjas two times with both the Type Lotion and of course the Jolteon worked great both times and it's not a move that I recommend but you know it's a last resort and uh, it worked this time of course so definitely Slyrano like I said GG and um, if you people have been watching of course make sure to leave a like and um, if you're new to the channel I guess you could subscribe that would be nice and besides that, remember guys, the sky's limits. Have a good day and take care, alright? Bye.